Sarah, how is the chapels? Good. Yummy. Mm. Do I make the best chapels? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You can't believe? Mm. I can eat this all day long. Uh -huh. Yum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Kanje. If you're new here, subscribe. It's free of charge. If you're coming back, you have already subscribed. Thank you so much for the love, guys. It's Saturday. I'm just from work and um, I miss eating my own chapatis. And even my daughter was like yesterday, oh, mom, when last did you cook for us chapo? And uh, I felt guilty. So right about now, I want to go and cook chapatis, soft layered chapatis. Let me change these outfits. Let me put on some some boxers. You know, when I'm in the house, I put on boxer. Let me go and put on some easy clothes, some simple clothes, and let's get to the kitchen and cook those uh, those soft layered chapatis, guys. So, guys, the first thing you're supposed to do is you're supposed to wash your hands. I've already washed mine here and you're supposed to clean your cabecin. You'll need a cabecin where you will make that duff. What is it called? Duff, D-O-U-G-H. Where you're supposed to mix your flour and the mixer that you're supposed to put in. So guys, I've put some water. You have to warm some water. Yeah, for that mixture. I love using warm water, not so warm, like ikikaribia kwa moto, like a bit hot. So guys, let's start the mixing. <laughs> I first put my flour. I just want like ten or fifteen chapatis because I want I want us to eat this chapati for today, some dinner. Today on Saturday dinner and uh, and tomorrow Sunday maybe breakfast or or lunch. So I want to make like like 10 or 15 chapos so uh, you put some i just measure the flour using my eyes i don't use those two two spoons to measure i just measure using my eyes i think this is enough guys i don't need too much because i'm just making 10 or 15 chapatis you can use any flour, any uh, home baking flour, all-purpose. Normally, I use the all-purpose flour. I, I don't use a TX, a Tinini. I'm not here to promote a, a chapati flour company. I just use random flour. You can also use random flour. Something else that I put here, I put some salt. I also measure the salt with my eyes. I don't use uh, those two spoons for measuring, those two measuring cups. I just measure using my hands. You have to put enough salt. You don't want your chapatis to taste tasteless. Something else I put, I also put sugar. I also measure the sugar using my eyes, like a pro. Not so much. I use my hands. That is why I told you in the beginning you have to you have you have to wash your hands first before you start cleaning, uh, before you start cooking. So I'm not using so much of the sugar. I just put enough, like the same amount of sugar and salt, and then you mix. You first mix the the dry ingredients. What do I mean by the dry ingredients? The, the, the flour, the sugar, and the salt. You first mix them together. Make sure there are no two bumps of, of flour. I'm so happy. I'm cooking chapos today. I 
after that you add some 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 cooking oil after that you add some cooking oil i had already put some cooking oil uh, in this in this cup because this is the one i'm going to use when i'm cooking the chapati so you just add a little and you mix it also guys i will tell you a story of how i knew how to cook chapati how i taught how i got to know how to cook chapatis let me finish mixing this up and then I'll tell you that story. It's hilarious. Ha, ah, my friend. Everything that I do has a story behind it. So after mixing that oil, now you add your water. Remember it's warm water, not so warm, like in a Caribbean or hot. So you just put it, you, you just measure with your eyes. Me, I just measure using my eyes. I don't use a tea at here. Make sure that you mix it properly. You have to mix all of it until it becomes, until it, it sticks together. I told you, you have to know how to cook for your man, guys. You have to please your man. The way to a man's heart is through the stomach and the booty. <laughs> You have to know how to please your family by cooking for them good food. Sour. You have to get into that kitchen and do the dirty work for to make your family happy. So as you can see, it's already it's good to go. one hour so that it just gets in the flavors get in so that it just mixes around and becomes ready to cook so this is how it looks like I let it stay there for a while and then when you come back we will come back to to finish up on it meanwhile I can just prepare the stew I want I want us to eat these chapatis with some beans. I am not here cooking chicken, not today. The month is around the corner. Your girl does not want to waste money on meat. <laughs> but I love eating them with beans. We love eating chapo with beans or with with beef. So today we are going to eat it with to eat chapos with beans. So I'm just, I'm just going to prepare my beans the African way and then I'll come back for us to finish up on the chapels. See you later. Now we are about to, to check out our dough. It's okay now. I want us to roll it and make some like some two pieces the way you see people making some sections of the chapo so that we can put it rest for like another 20 minutes and then we can roll it in and cook it so 
We do like this. You make sure that your countertop, your kitchen countertop is so clean. Don't put it when your kitchen countertop is dirty. So you roll it. I've already uh, prepared my stew. It's ready. So you just roll it. And then I love to apply some some oil. After that, I roll it back. Now it should be like this. So now we are going to cut it like this. Now we are going to cut it into sections. After that, we are going to, to remove it and then we, we roll it back like this. We roll it back like this. And then you put it back in the, in the container. Put it there to rest. So this is how it looks like there are 10 pieces and then i'm going to cover them again and leave it there for like 10 minutes and then i can start heating them up on the pan so guys the duck is ready to be uh, to be cooked now i like putting my chapatis in this condition you can put them in the hot pot if you want but me i don't like that sweating that occurs in the hot pot so i just use this and then i put some nylon underneath so that my chapatis won't dry up yeah i put it there like that here, it is. here is the dish that i put the cooked chapatis so now we can start we can start rolling the chapos and then putting them on the pan I use this pan. If you have a nice pan, it is good, but I use this African Kenyaji pan. <laughs> if you have a, a nice pan, well and good, but you have to use what you have. You gotta use what you have. You gotta improvise. So let's start rolling the let's start rolling it this this year one by one. Put them, putting them on the pan, yeah, as they they cook. After cooking, after, if if it gets if it's cooked, we put it here. Okay, let's do this, guys. You put the pan on your on your cooker to get hot. It must be very hot. As you're doing that, now we can roll. We can now roll this pole pole.
you first dust the the area that you will roll your chapatis on and then you start rolling this is the fun part roll each side you want it to be round in shape you don't want to cook triangle chapatis for your family so you roll it until it becomes round So guys, how did I come to know how to cook chapos? There's this time I was dating this guy. It was Kitambo Webe. <laughs> so this guy used to love chapos so much. So there's this time I told my mom, Mom, cook for me chapos. I have a visitor. I used to live near where my mom lives. So my mom, as usual, she came through for me. She cooked for me very nice chapos. By the way, my mom is a very good cook. If you know her, she used to cook chapos for the whole for the whole estate, the whole community. Like she can cook even chapos for 10 packets in a in a in a day. Even 20. She used to make chapos for events. So I told her, Mom, cook for me chapos, those chapos that you put carrots, you know those ones. One day I'll cook for you here. So she cooked for me. And, and my visitor came and I, I prepared the chapos with a stew. So, this visitor enjoyed the chapos. Eh? He, he thought I'm the one who cooked them. And just like that, he was like, Kanji, I want you to be cooking such chapos every time I come to visit you. And my dear, I didn't, I'm not the one who cooked those chapos. Well, my friend, I told him, it's okay. I told him it's okay. So that is so when I knew he was coming, you see it is round in shape. You put it on the pan. So every time I knew he was coming, I used to tell my mom to cook for me chapos, the same chapos, so that that guy thinks that it's me. Until my mom was like, Hey Kanji, you know, you have to sit here and learn how to cook these chapatis and cook for that your visitor your own on your own what if that visitor asks you to cook in front of him what will you do so my mom taught me how to make chapos i really wanted to know how to so that i can impress that guy like the things you do ha ah, to make someone happy so that is how i i knew how to cook soft chapatis i did trial and error until i I learned how to do it in a perfect way. So I really thank my mom. Like she really by then she's a very good cook. She's the one who has taught me how to cook everything. She's the one, eh? She has taught me everything cooking, like everything pilau, everything chicken, everything chapo. She's the one who has taught me. A very big shout out to her. Sometimes I used to cook even triangle <laughs> chapatis, but she really insisted that I have to do it the perfect way. One by one, I don't know how to to put ten at the can finish or ten. I don't know how to place them all here. The way those people of Barabara put ten here and then they just spin me. I don't know how to do that. I just cook one at a time. The aroma, the aroma. Oh, guys, this is the time to close your your windows and your doors so that the neighbor won't come. You don't want visitors when you're cooking chapos.
look at these guys oh my god they are so fluffy so yummy guys Ooh. Sarah how is the chapels good yummy mm. do I make the best chapels mm. mm -hmm. mm. you can't believe mm. I can eat this all day long <laughs> yum